You've got one of probably one of the greatest jazz record collections in in the world, and um, you know when people get into collecting, obviously it's about the music, but it's, but sometimes it's about the sort of artifacts as well. And from a from a sort of collector's point of view, Sun Ra is one of the ultimate artists to collect. Isn't it? I think he's the ultimate artist because it's got everything that is seductive about collecting, both art and music first thing that you have to say is that you know they traveled together as a group as a collective the orchestra and they literally were creating their production of music and records and they were literally painting the artwork from gig to gig and they were selling their records at those gigs so they were like the original diy punk group you know what was going on in the mid 70s and you know with punk music he was doing that in the 50s and 60s and they were literally you know so if you can get yourself a piece of Sun Ra hand painted or sketched record sleeves, that music will be bought by oligarchs <laughs> in 50, 60, 70 years' time. Hopefully this not, this is Matisse yeah. and Picasso. <clears throat> this is collectability at its ultimate because not only is the music phenomenal and limited in quantity, but of course, so is the artwork. So you've mm. got this. The, the best of all elements. So in that respect, you know, Sun Ra's the man. So give, show us a couple, because well, he, he, he set up this very early on. Um, he set up what they called El Saturn Research, and he started releasing his own records. So they, they, as you were saying, they literally used to press the records, stick the labels on themselves, yeah. do the artwork. I mean, and then and then sell them from the stage at the gigs. Yeah, I mean this is this is an absolute. This is probably my. I, I, th there's a couple actually. I don't want to make excuses today, but that I that I really can't find. I don't think he wants them to be shown. <laughs> Possibly right, but this one, this one is. Um, this is almost my favourite because this is definitely an original. So this is, it's on a kind of standard 12-inch white sleeve and there's a hand, very, very detailed, hand-painted in pink crayon um, sort of impressionistic drawing of Sun Ra. I mean, that is extraordinary because... because and look at the picture, look at the signature. So what does that say? Space Age greetings uh, from Sun Ra. Yeah, amazing. But that is probably something that I should certainly have in a safe somewhere rather than just floating about my record collection.